Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla just made a shocking announcement as Princess Diana's death mystery continues to captivate the world. Her ex-butler, Paul Burrell, dropped a bombshell that might finally shed light on the dark secrets surrounding her passing. With the royals already reeling from Prince Harry's explosive memoir revelations, Burrell's shocking confession could further intensify the palace drama. Join us as we explore this historic saga, uncovering hidden truths and bitter rivalries that shaped an icon. To unravel what has been announced, we must start with the root of the issue, the death of the people's princess. People from all walks of life, whether they knew Princess Diana personally or admired her from afar, felt a deep emotional connection to her. Her charm and kindness captivated the world, drawing many to become devoted fans of the royal family. However, a heartbreaking twist of fate occurred on one fateful day, the night of August 31, 1997. A tragic event unfolded, leaving a lasting impact on countless minds. Princess Diana, a beloved icon known for her kindness and charity, met an untimely end in a Paris car crash. At just 36, she left behind an enduring legacy of inspiration. This devastating incident happened as she tried to escape from intrusive paparazzi pursuing her. Princess Diana was with her partner Dodie Fade at the time of the tragedy. Dodie was born into wealth as the son of the affluent Mohammed Al Fade. That night, they found themselves trying to evade prying eyes following them closely. Diana and Dodie were staying at the luxurious Ritz Hotel in Paris, owned by Dodie's father. Their romance had drawn considerable attention, sparking interest among many. The media and photographers were always on the lookout, eager to catch a glimpse of the couple. Earlier that day, they enjoyed a relaxing boat ride, sunbathing along the French Riviera, but once back in Paris, the pesky paparazzi quickly resumed their relentless pursuit. The constant harassment by photographers began to make their daily lives more challenging. On the night of August 30, Diana and Dodie enjoyed a lavish dinner at an elegant restaurant in the luxurious Ritz. After dinner, they decided to leave but were wary of photographers waiting outside the hotel's main entrance. To avoid them, they chose to sneak out through the back door. Despite their efforts, the paparazzi discovered their plan and began following them as they exited. Diana and Dodie entered a sleek black Mercedes-Benz driven by Henry Paul, a hotel employee, who was their driver for the night. A bodyguard named Trevor Reese jones accompanied them. The plan was to quickly evade the persistent photographers and head to Dodie's apartment nearby. The paparazzi, however, were relentless in their pursuit, following the car on motorcycles and in various vehicles, taking photos of Princess Diana and Dodie as they weaved through Paris streets. Henry Paul, trying to lose the paparazzi, sped through the city. Soon after they entered the Pont de l'Alma tunnel, tragedy struck. Inside the tunnel, Henry Paul lost control of the car, leading to a devastating crash into a pillar. The impact was massive, destroying the front of the car and causing severe injuries to those inside. Emergency services arrived quickly, working tirelessly to help the victims. Sadly, both Dodie Fade and Henry Paul died at the scene. Princess Diana, however, was found alive but in critical condition. She was rushed to a nearby hospital where medical staff worked tirelessly to save her. Despite their best efforts, Princess Diana succumbed to her injuries hours later. The sole survivor was Trevor Rhys Jones, though he too suffered severe injuries. News of Princess Diana's death spread rapidly worldwide, causing deep sorrow and disbelief. Details confirmed that Diana, the beloved Princess of Wales, died tragically in a car crash with her partner. It was learned that paparazzi on motorcycles were relentlessly pursuing the vehicle. Diana's sudden, untimely loss shocked and saddened millions who adored her. Diana was laid to rest at her family's estate, Althorpe, in the serene Northamptonshire countryside. Her final resting place is on a secluded island surrounded by a tranquil lake. 
This private spot was chosen by her family to provide a peaceful sanctuary, shielding her from public view. Though Diana is gone, her legacy lives on through the remarkable work of her sons, William and Harry, who have continued her humanitarian efforts, championing causes close to their mother's heart. Diana's tragic, sudden loss changed many lives, highlighting the dangers of relentless media attention. Her enduring impact on countless lives continues to be celebrated and cherished as time passes. Over time, many theories about what happened in that tunnel have emerged, but none have been confirmed. This has left many wondering about the details of that tragic night until now when Diana's loyal valet, Paul Burrell, revealed some details about her ordeal. What truths did Paul uncover? Let's delve into the controversy surrounding Princess Diana's tragic death. Initially, the crash was blamed on a drunk driver and the paparazzi's pursuit, but a more complex story began to unfold. Some started to consider that the crash might have been intentional, raising suspicions of a deeper plot. Speculation arose about powerful individuals' involvement, with some theories even implicating the royal family. One reason for these conspiracy theories is linked to a letter Diana wrote. This infamous letter, penned in 1995 shortly before her death, gained notoriety over the years. In it, Diana expressed fears that she might be harmed, even suggesting a staged car accident. The public was shocked by this letter, sparking debates about Diana's mysterious death. People wondered if there was more to the story than just an accident. Despite rumors, official investigations concluded that Diana's fate was a tragic accident. The first probe, led by French authorities, focused on the night's events. It revealed that driver Henry Paul was intoxicated and driving recklessly, Aggressive paparazzi pursuit increased the tension, causing Henry to speed up. The French investigation linked these elements to the crash, ruling out any premeditation. Yet conspiracy theories persisted. To address growing concerns, a new UK investigation was launched, Operation Paget, led by British authorities. It tackled the many conspiracy theories that had arisen after Diana's death, Operation Paget began in 2004, seven years after the fatal accident, and conducted a meticulous examination of all evidence, including Diana's letter, pre-crash events, and the actions of those involved. Operation Paget's findings, made public in 2006, found no evidence supporting conspiracy theories. Like the French investigation, it concluded that Henry Paul's intoxication caused the tragic accident. The report also highlighted the role of the paparazzi, whose chase escalated the danger. Despite these conclusions, some clung to conspiracy theories, citing Diana's letter as a possible omen of the tragedy. Questions arose about aspects of the incident, including the emergency response and the time taken to transport Diana to the hospital. Speculation even included British intelligence involvement. During this time, Paul Burrell assumed a significant role in revealing aspects of Diana's personal life that had remained hidden. Burrell's stories, including in his book A Royal Duty, revealed details of Diana's emotional struggles, her isolation, her battle with bulimia, and her complicated relationship with Prince Charles. Despite facing immense pressures, Diana's empathy and humanitarian efforts remained a defining aspect of her legacy. Through it all, she was a devoted mother, always putting her children, William and Harry, first. Prince Harry has faced numerous challenges in accepting the loss of someone so important to him. Moreover, he expressed a commitment to protecting Diana's memory and preserving the true essence of who she was. By sharing his experiences, the audience gained deeper insight into the woman known as the People's Princess. Her personal stories highlighted that despite her fame, Diana faced ordinary challenges like anyone else. Prince Harry's decision to share details about Diana's private life revealed complex relationships within the royal family. The book's publication sparked debate on whether he overstepped 
by revealing such intimate information. Some members of the royal household were displeased with the book, leading to legal issues over Harry's personal revelations. However, Harry stood firm, believing his motives were pure and driven by love for his mother, aiming to share her true story. Despite his honorable intentions, not everyone welcomed these revelations with open arms. Recently, Prince Harry made a surprising move, though perhaps not entirely unexpected. Since his mother's death, Harry hasn't acted as he once did. Despite the family's pressure to keep his emotions private, Harry, Diana's beloved second son, has not been a man without reason. He boldly challenged royal norms, stunning viewers with his candor about both Diana and King Charles. From his groundbreaking memoir Spare to Frank interviews, Harry has shaken the monarchy. His actions have sparked global debates, stirring mixed emotions among royal watchers worldwide. Prince Harry's deep sadness and resentment compelled him to share his truth. Join us as we explore Harry's recent moves and their lasting impact on the world. Spare is globally acclaimed as a bold departure from royal tradition. Royal matters are typically private, and breaking this unwritten rule can have serious consequences. This was precisely the case with Prince Harry's tell-all book Spare. The title alone hinted at Harry's disconnect from his family. On January 10, 2023, his 416-page memoir was published by Penguin Random House. It is available in digital and paperback formats and has been translated into 15 languages. What's so captivating about this book? How did the press react to this notable literary work? It's unlike anything you've experienced before. A highlight was Prince Harry narrating the audiobook version himself. The book launch was highly anticipated, backed by major TV interviews. The title Spare implies the concept of an heir and a backup for the royal legacy. In the memoir, Harry explores his early years and the profound impact of his late mother, Princess Diana. It covers his tumultuous teenage years and his experiences as a British Army soldier in Afghanistan. The book delves into his complex relationships with Prince William and King Charles Roman III, revealing intricacies within the family. The memoir also examines his father's marriage to Queen Camilla and Harry's union with Meghan Markle, a non-royal Hollywood actress which sparked controversy. His decision to step back from royal duties added another layer of complexity. While many praised Harry's candor, some felt he oversharpened his critiques, confirmed by Guinness World Records for book sales. Even before hitting shelves in July 2021, Harry partnered with Penguin Random House to publish his memoir, with proceeds promised to charity. Harry reportedly received at least a 20 million as an advance for the book, later revealing that one 5 million from sales would go to Centibale, while pound 300, 000 would be donated to Well Child. In summer 2021, Harry stated that he wrote his memoir not as a royal, but as the man he'd become. He expressed this by sharing his experiences, including successes, failures, mistakes, and lessons learned. His goal was to show that despite our differences, we have more in common than we think. Even the wealthy face challenges. Harry described Spare as accurate and completely truthful. The book's editor highlighted how it transports readers to a poignant moment in time, the funeral of Princess Diana, when two young princes solemnly followed their mother's coffin as the world watched in sadness and disbelief. Readers have also noted that the memoir is filled with deep reflections, unexpected discoveries, and important life lessons. In January 2023, it was revealed that Harry reconsidered publishing his book after connecting with his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth Roman II, during her Platinum Jubilee celebrations in 2022. Despite his initial doubts, he ultimately decided to proceed with the publication. Speaking with journalist Bryony Gordon, Harry shared that his first draft was about 800 pages enough for two separate books. However, he decided to cut it to around 400 pages, 
due to sensitive topics about himself, his father, and his brother, which he preferred to keep private. He worried they wouldn't forgive him if these details were made public. Harry explicitly stated that the book's intent wasn't to dismantle the monarchy, but to strengthen it. He felt responsible for improving the institution for the well-being of future heirs. He clarified that his brother's younger children weren't his responsibility. In spare, Harry addresses paternity rumors, refuting claims that James Hewitt, not Charles, is his father. He suggests that the rumors stemmed from Hewitt's red hair and the tabloid's love for scandal. Harry was shocked when Charles once joked distastefully about the gossip. Harry likened his relationship with William to the dynamic between Princess Margaret and Queen Elizabeth Roman II. He felt sympathy for Margaret, but noted that her intimidating gaze could wither any nearby plant. At Ludgrove School, Harry fondly remembered Miss Roberts, a matron who captivated him and playfully teased Mrs. Peake for her stiff posture, which failed to impress him. Harry recalled learning of his mother's tragic death at the age of 12, as revealed by his father. He noted how many adults, including his uncle Charles Spencer, were disturbed by him and his brother's stoicism at their mother's funeral. Harry insisted on walking with William, believing he'd do the same. For over a decade, Harry believed his mother was hiding to escape intrusive media. He revealed that even William shared this suspicion. The investigation into his mother's death seemed too simplistic and unbelievable to him. He questioned why photographers and their employers weren't held accountable, hinting at hidden motives and cover-ups. Harry also reveals that he and William initially planned to issue a joint statement, urging the reopening of the investigation, but were swayed by outside forces. During their trip to Paris for the 2017 Rugby World Cup semifinal, Harry arranged to be driven through the tunnel where his mother died at exactly 96 km slash h. Looking back, Harry sees this as a reckless choice that only intensified his emotional turmoil. In his memoir, Harry admits contacting a woman who claimed to have extraordinary powers. He discusses trying cocaine at 17, acknowledging that while it was unpleasant, it changed his perspective. He recalls a wild night in January 2016 at Kershaville, where he indulged in magic mushrooms and tequila, leading to vivid hallucinations and a bizarre encounter with a bathroom trash can. Harry also discusses Rebecca Brooks, the persistent news of the world editor, who relentlessly tried to publish his addiction story. He candidly shares less glamorous experiences, like losing his virginity to an older horse-loving woman behind a busy pub, and a bar incident where he drank excessively and tried picking fights, resulting in his expulsion from the establishment. In the captivating book Spare, Harry stirs controversy by revealing that William and Kate playfully suggested he wear a Nazi costume instead of a pilot's for a themed event in 2005. Harry fondly recalls first meeting Kate, seeing her more as a sister than just a family member, appreciating their shared sense of humor. Harry reflects on his Afghanistan service, sharing stories of six missions that resulted in the elimination of 25 Taliban fighters. He admits viewing the enemy as chess pieces to be removed from the board, rather than as individuals. Despite the high casualty count, he admits feeling neither satisfaction nor remorse for the deaths. Harry shared intriguing details about the complex dynamics between him, his father, and Camilla. He and William welcomed Camilla, provided their father wouldn't marry her. Yet, when Charles decided to wed her, Harry saw his father's genuine affection shine through. Harry claims Camilla used him as a pawn in her PR strategy to boost her public image. He hints that she betrayed their private talks to grab media attention. He also alleges that Charles and Camilla exploited his 2002 substance abuse to gain sympathy and validate their bond. Harry claims William is burdened by keeping their father's affair with Camilla's secret, which makes him feel conflicted and lost. Harry hinted that Camilla might have been involved in his mother's death, blaming her for his parents' divorce. 
He recalls their first meeting as unpleasant, like an unexpected shock, as Camilla seemed uninterested in him, the non-heir. However, Harry reluctantly admitted that his father found happiness with Camilla, and he wished them well. He wondered if a happy Camilla seemed less intimidating. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and click the next one on your screen.